My name is Neve, and I live in London, in the country of England. This is the first week of Advent. Advent starts four weeks before Christmas and helps us to get ready for the celebrations of Christ's birth. It helps us remember that God is keeping the promises that he made since the creation of the world. God never gives up hope and uses all kinds of people to bring about change. People like Mary and Joseph, who are part of the Christmas story. Today we light the first candle of Advent, the candle of hope. We really need hope in our world. There are so many concerns like the environment, wars, racism and so much more. But Christmas reminds us that God never gives up on us, on all the world that he created. Today we light the first candle of hope. Thank you, Neve. Hope. I wonder if you would agree. There are times when hope is difficult. Your favorite team starts the season well, but injuries contribute to the loss of many games, and you lose hope. You begin your studies with determination, but become discouraged by difficult assignments. You had hope for greater justice in the community, but continue to see many acts of injustice. There are times when it's difficult to sustain hope. We begin the season of Advent with the candle of hope. Let's turn then to a story of hope found in the Gospel of Matthew. It's in the first verse of the Gospel and it tells us that in this account, the, the origins of Jesus as Messiah is clearly outlined. Then Matthew traces the origins of Jesus, the Messiah, through the stories of Abraham, David, Israel's exile to Babylon, and God's promise to Abraham then became that the nations of the world would be blessed through him and Sarah. This promise reaches a high point during the reign of King David, but it doesn't last. Eventually, the promise rests on a shaky ground when Jews are deported to Babylon. Hope for the fulfillment of God's purposes hangs by a thread. But then we reach the climax of Matthew's genealogy, where he tells us of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. You can read this in Matthew chapter 1. The birth of Jesus the Messiah renews hope for Israel. And this renewal of hope is for the whole world as God has purposed. This past year, our world has been shaken by the conflict in Ukraine. Hope for a peaceful settlement has proved to be difficult. Ukraine's citizens have hoped to return to their cities, but this has been met with discouragement. Worldwide, we hope that our health systems would be restored once we began to move past the pandemic. We are discovering that it's not easily done or is it easy to realize. There have been many times this past year when financial and sexual scandals have undermined hopes for the church to be a transformative influence in the world. More personally, some of us may be finding it difficult to sustain hope for our personal goals to be realized. With these realities in mind, we come to the season of Advent. We hear again the story of God who doesn't give up. We sing the Christmas carols that resonate through the life of the church and remind us of God's renewing hope for the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. You know the song, the carol. As we begin, 
the season of Advent, my prayer is that each of us will be encouraged by the hope expressed in the Christmas story. As you think about your personal hopes, may you trust in the God of Advent hope, in the God who does not give up on us. And as we think about the life and mission of the Salvation Army, may we place our hope in God who presents himself through the birth that took place in Bethlehem, thus fulfilling hope. May the God of Advent nurture your hope this week and every week of Advent. May God bless you.